Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to a gorgeous evening in the garden. Uh, it is summer winding down. Still kind of warm. HOA and I just got back from a mini vacation. We went to Maui with our kids for our 17th wedding anniversary. And it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Um, unfortunately on the way home we got a little sick. <laughs> so we are all recuperating and recovering. Please don't worry, we're all okay. Um, but because of that, I haven't really felt very, very, very good. So I really wanted to paint, but I didn't want to spend a ton of time mixing. And I thought of something that I've had for a while. These are boom gel stains. And one of the really nice things about these is you use them straight out of the bottle. Which tonight for me was like, oh, that's awesome. Because all I had to mix up was a base coat. So... <laughs> Um, you can get your Boom Gel stains from Fluid Art Co. as well as Australian Floetrol. And tonight we are going to do some bloom flowers with our Boom Gel stains. So these are Boom Gel blooms. And I'm very excited about this one. Um, I had done a couple of pours with these about almost exactly a year ago, uh, interestingly enough. And I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. And uh, we're going to do that again and see how it goes. So, this is my Australian Floetrol that I have used to mix up my cell activator. This is a 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 ratio of Australian Floetrol to Amsterdam Titanium White for my cell activator. Let me show you the colors that I have available to work with. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these tonight, but I might. Uh, the first one is Pearlescent Pearl, which is really, really pretty. And then I have some pearlescent watermelon, which is such a gorgeous color. Tasty. And then we have some, I think it says begonia burgundy. I've used this one a lot because <laughs> I like that color a lot. And then we have pearlescent violet. And I have pearlescent cherry, which I'm trying to find somewhere where you can actually see the color, but... <laughs> That's pearlescent cherry. Then I have this native violet purple, which is a beautiful color. And I have metallic gold. Let me shake that one up just a little bit more. Very pretty gold. Because you gotta have gold. Gotta have gold. And last but not least, we have pea flower orange, which I really like this also. Now you can see by the marks on some of these bottles that the last time I did this I used a base coat of white house paint. I did not want to do that tonight. Tonight my base is Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with a little bit of Liquitex gloss varnish and some Floetrol and some water. And I'm hoping that I've got the consistency on this right. Not super super thin, not super super thick. We'll see how it goes. So the game plan is to put down our base coat. The last one of these that I did, Fairy Flowers, I did not put the base coat down on the whole canvas. I just put down puddles of pillow paint and then blew it out and then as I needed it I added more pillow paint around it. I did not spin it and I didn't tilt it and it dried pretty much okay but there were a few parts where the house paint was kind of thick and I wasn't really really crazy with how it dried. So I kind of want to play with that tonight so what I'm going to do is put down the base coat, tilt it to make sure I don't have a super thick base coat on there and then we're going to put down the boom gels and we're going to blow them out. So let's start doing that. This is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with my titanium white in there. So let's start with that. We're going to put down this as our base coat all over the canvas and we're going to tilt it out so that we don't have a very, very thick layer on there. I guess because I was sort of thinking of trying to emulate that house paint feel, pillow paint feeling. So, exciting news, Fluid Art Boutique 2 is coming 
very, very soon. We are in the planning stages and everything is looking so awesome and exciting and fabulous. We are going to be in Delray Beach, Florida. Thank you, Baxter. Uh, October 8th, 9th, and 10th, 2022. We have an amazing lineup of artists. Uh, our original four, Karen Dershin, Sarah Mack, Kathleen Osmore, and myself. And we have Molly from Molly's Artistry is joining us, and Erica Hughes, and Michelle Gatley. So this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really, really exciting. There's going to be more details coming up on our website very, very soon. And I hope you guys will join us because it's going to be awesome. We have some awesome techniques and lots of fun things planned for you guys. So let's torch this. So I'm not planning on tilting this again after we put the paint down. So this is why I wanted a thinner, I wanted a base coat. Now I tilted it before we put any of the paint down. And I do have some extra pillow paint there if I need it, if I feel like we need things to move a little bit more. Okay. So one of the awesome things about the boom gels is that you don't need to mix it with anything. You just squirt it right out of the bottle and make your puddles and blow them out. So, what I would like to do is probably three blooms. So we're probably gonna go one kind of in here, that'll be the middle one, and then one over here, and then maybe one over here. So let's start with the center one first. I'm gonna start with some of the burgundy. I last, I am ready. <laughs> I apologize. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I last, I am ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm out of practice. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put some of that beautiful pearlescent watermelon on top of that. And then some gold. Okay. Let's go with a little bit of the pearlescent pearl. Because I haven't used this one before. I'm kind of curious. So what happens with it? That's pretty. All right. Um, let's go with the native violet purple. Ooh, looks nice and dark. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the pearlescent purple on there. The pearlescent violet. Excuse me. A little bit more watermelon. And I do want to use. Flower Orange. Intriguing name. <laughs> I guess these are all Australian names. Okay, and then let's put a little bit more burgundy on top of it. Okay. Alright, now we're going to take our cell activator, the Australian Floetrol, with the Amsterdam Titanium White. And now the last time I did this, I think I used way too much cell activator. So we're gonna try not to do that this time. Am I boring you back? Sorry, baby. No, that's the sound of the sleep of the righteous <laughs> dog. It's the righteous snore. Okay, we're gonna go this way first. Now I just want you to look real close right in here. You see how the white has kind of sunk? The cell activator has sunk and made this sort of halo? That's a good sign. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Okay, here we go. Stay wide, because we're gonna, there's Baxter here. Awesome. We're gonna <laughs> blow that way. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's that pea flower orange coming through. Interesting. All right, here we go. Ready? Uh-huh. Okay, this is really interesting and pretty in there. I love that part. Right. I think I'm going to put a tiny bit more CA in here. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Ready? Yep.
Okay. That's pretty cool. I want to do a little bit going this way. Yeah? Yep. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, super cool. I don't know if I'm loving that pea flower orange though. That's kind of... It's throwing me off a little bit. I think I need to blow this part just a little bit more because I see like a ridge right there. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. I think I'm going to skip the pea flower orange. And the next one, maybe we just put it too close to the purple. And it's, I don't know why. It's probably be really, really pretty when it dries. But I do love what's happening in here. The super fine lacing is beautiful, and I love the burgundy coming up, and I like the purples going through there. Okay. Um, let's do another one. Let's do another one over here, and we're going to do a smaller one. I'm going to start with this one is pearlescent cherry. not do this one as complicated as the other one. Less colors probably. Some of the gold. I think I want to put some burgundy. Okay. I think let's, let's leave that one at that. Like that. I'm going to get a skewer and I'm going to pop a couple of these bigger bubbles. Put our cell activator on there. Here we go. We're gonna go. Let's go this way first. Actually, no. I'm gonna go this way first towards that one because I want more control over what I'm doing. Okay. Ready, HOA? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So pretty. Okay, we're gonna go off this way now. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more CA down on this edge. Because what you're trying to do here is blow that white cell activator over your colors to get it to stretch out. And when you do it right, you get cells. Okay, ready, hey? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. I'm liking that so far. I'm gonna go this way now, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty like that. I like that one a lot better than that one. The orange is throwing me off in that one, but that one's really pretty still, too. Okay. Hey, baby. Did you wake up? Hi, oh, honey. Hi. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, daddy. <laughs> I could hear him over the blower. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. I love the way this one's turned out. So we're going to do another one like that. We're going to start with the pearlescent cherry again. Okay, so they do offer this tip and versus this flat nozzle. This one doesn't make nearly as many bubbles as this one does, as you can see. So we're just going to pop those bubbles real quick. Okay. 
All right, and then we're gonna go in with some watermelon. And we're gonna do some gold. And we're gonna put some burgundy in there. Okay, and let's put just a little bit of this darker purple in there too, just to make it a little different than that one. Okay, and then we're going to put our cell activator on there. Again, sinking and making that halo, good sign. Alright, we're going to go that way first. I always do the part that I don't want to do the most, I do that first so I can get out of the way and then I can relax and have fun. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I less. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, that's really pretty. We're gonna go this way. Okay. I'm gonna put a tiny bit more CA over here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Ready? Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. Wow. Okay. One more. Love these two. I don't like that one. <laughs> so options, you could leave it, or I could scrape that one off, put down more pillow paint, and do it again. Which is kind of what I think I want to do. I really, I'm not digging on that orange for some reason at all. Okay, so this is cool. So I'm gonna take a stick. Don't freak out. It's gonna be okay. I'm just going to put this right down here, and I'm going to scrape it off. Alright, All right, so now we're going to put down some more paint right here. Spread that out real quick, smooth it. Spatula. Like it never happened. <laughs> like whatever happened. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to smooth this out because I'm not going to tilt it, obviously. And I want to make sure there's not too much on there. Okay. Okay, tell them about the leaf bar. I don't know if I told them about them. That's a Makita, Makita cordless um, mini leaf blower with a progressive trigger. And what that means is the harder I squeeze the trigger, the harder it blows the air. So I'm actually going to take that progressive trigger and blow this a little bit. All right, I'm going to come back over and blow this leaf out a little bit more.
pretty cool. Okay, so now I get to do another pretty one like I liked. Okay, I'm excited about this. This is so cool. I love it. Okay, let's start with that pearlescent cherry again. And some more watermelon. And some gold. Put on there after the burgundy. You can tell which color I like the most because it's empty. <laughs> and a little bit of that dark purple. Let's put a touch of gold on top there. Just for kicks. Okay. We're gonna go with our cell activator again. Okay, we're going to go this way first, remember, because I do the parts I don't want to do the most first. Here we go. Are you ready, HOA? Yes, my love. Here we go. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to go this way with another little bit right here, because we want that to flow over the colors. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. darker part. There's kind of like this ridge of paint that's concerning me just a little bit. So technically I should blow that part out, but I'm loving what's happening in here and in here and I don't want to. So, <laughs> so I'm not actually going to. Okay, this is cool. What do you think, HOA? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's really cool. Very wispy and beautiful. Do you think this one needs a little bit more of that dark purple? Because those two both have it and this one does not. Uh, they, need to be some, they don't need to be the same. No, not the same, but you think it's okay without just the two? Yeah, because I think that uh, sort of, if you put that darker color there, I think it would look heavy and unbalanced on that side. Okay, I want to blow this one out just a tiny bit more. Here on the edge. This is one of the things that I really, really like about the cordless leaf blower is that you, know, you can't do that with a corded hair dryer, <laughs> you know, even if you have a couple of speeds. I don't think you can get that delicacy. Not to offend any hair dryers out there, I just, you know, I'm explaining why I like this thing. Because some people are like, why are you using a leaf blower? Yeah. It seems counterintuitive because it's such a giant tool. <laughs> cool. and now this part is bugging me. <laughs> That's going to keep it on me. I just want to blow this one out a little bit more too. Dark one thing I'm not that crazy about is there's like a line in the middle of that one. This one? Yeah. A line of white? Yeah. I'm not actually worried about that because it's a cell activator and... It's going to fill in. Yeah, those cells are either going to get bigger or more cells might come up. 
I could blow it, but that would spread it out and actually create more cells on it. If you look really, really close, it's actually super pretty in there. And like this part right there, I love that. I love this, and this, and this. And this is all gorgeous around there. So, this is really cool. Cool. Groovy. I wish this one was a little bit longer, but there doesn't seem to be that much more paint there to blow out. And then this is kind of gonna, maybe I can... There she goes, finger painting. <laughs> Fingers are awesome tools. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. A little wispy bit. Okay, I'm gonna stop before I ruin it. <laughs> Maybe one more. One more, one more, one big one. <laughs> okay. That was fun. <laughs> I will show you guys when this is dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. So for those of you who it's, you know, challenging sometimes to sit there and mix for a very, very long time, this might be a great option. Another great use for these would be when you're traveling and you don't want to mix paint, but you really do want to paint. So this would be a lot of fun. So that was awesome. Thank you guys for being here. I will show you guys when it's dry. Okay, so this is the next day. Um, not completely, completely dry, but it's getting there. Uh, there's some really, really pretty parts on this. Let's see if we can get closer and get some detail. Beautiful little cells in there. I love those. That darker purple, the dark purple violet, almost looking black. I like these little wispy bits on the edges too, really pretty. There's the other bigger one that we did, and I really like the blown out parts on this one. All those little teeny tiny tiny cells. <laughs> and the one up there. Pretty pretty. There are some really beautiful cells right there I love. There, very cool stuff. So, this was fun just need to work on composition. I think I probably had a little bit too much of the boom gel paint and maybe didn't quite spread it out as much as I could have, but I still do like this composition. I think it's very pretty. I think it's soft, summertime, flowery. Parts of it almost remind me of pomegranates. <laughs> so, but this is really cool. This is fun stuff. And you know, another tool for your toolbox. So, this was awesome. Thanks for being here with me today, you guys. Hope you all are doing really well and staying healthy. And we'll see you for the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.